Hey everybody, Brandon here. Today we're going to go over a lot of the container elements. Um, now what's neat about the container elements is they'll actually hold other elements inside. I use the group of elements the most, but let me go ahead and go over the accordion and the collapsible and I'll show you why I use a group of elements. Um, the accordion uh, groups, pull them out, allow you to do literally that in an accordion group. So you could have some groups down here, have a couple of buttons in here, and they have flip it up here, and they have a couple of other types of buttons. And so it actually, you know, all the elements, so if you have a single line text, you set it into there. So um, then you could actually come over here under the single line text and set it into there just like that and it's vertical up and down and so that's you know what the um, accordion group is so let's go ahead and delete so you select the whole thing and delete <laughs> then we have a collapsible panel now a collapsible panel is actually pretty cool because you can shove it up underneath a picture or something but you hit the button here and it brings down the panel um, I imagine you should be able to so you got the opening delay opening effect so it could swing let's take a look at that don't really see a difference But yeah, you could, yeah, I would do swing, drop it down. And I imagine there's a way to change the color. Starting positions up. In styles, there's no presets. So let's go into here. Let's see, that's the text color. I would go in so we select it ah cool that's how you do it. When you select each section, full size open the top. So you can create different colors to it as well, just like by going in again through styles, <coughs> styles and customize. Excuse me. Um, and so that's another. And you put groups, uh, links, and you know basically groups of elements onto it. So you could actually put elements, scene line text, pictures, images, links, buttons, all of that could go into here. That would be pretty cool. Put uh, Google Maps right onto this and have it open and close with the Google Maps. Just some ideas. I mean, you could literally combine elements like that. That's what's great about this program. So that's a collapsible panel. Groups of elements. Now this one is what I use the most. Um, for example, let's pull it up here. I'm gonna set it right there. Let's open it up. Let's go to styles, customize. Width is 850. We did perfect on that. Center it. We'll do a minimum width of 850 and we'll do a maximum width of 1100 so what we'll do is we'll actually take this line 
and you can set it inside of this group. And I'll take the group, make it a little bit taller. And we'll take this set in there, this and set it in there. Let me move these down. Why is this so wide? Thank you. That dumb automatic. Okay. Now these we set over to the right distance. Again, automatically goes to the left. I don't know why. I wish you could change that. What are you doing? 20 up. Forgot you have to when you change these numbers, push up or down and it repositions it. Now what happens with this? Let's save it. Preview. When it opens up, it only opens up so wide. And that dropped down, so I'll have to fix that. It doesn't go the full width all the way to the edges because we minimized the length of the group of elements to 1100. So because this was only allowed to open 1100 wide, it won't allow these elements on the inside to go any further out. But it's got a minimum inward. And so that way the page could open all the way to the outside. But, oops, it's not what I want to do. And I'll show you on the website I had built, one of them is... <clears throat> that contact us, all of these are inside of one of those groups. Now, this screen isn't wide enough, but when it goes wider, they don't move out any further. Um, actually, the best examples I have are my vacuums. See, when this minimizes in inward. <clears throat> There's not very much distance between the edge and here. But when it maximizes, it's got a lot bigger distance now. And it's because it actually, this is the limit as to how far away the words will go from the picture. And so that's something else to, that's how that group of elements works, is it limits how far the elements will move. And you can actually have a group of elements where they're all on one side. So you create a column of short links right here on the side. You create another group right here um, that just expands to the remaining distances and positions against this one that holds the rest of your content. You can have everything shift to the left or you can have everything shift to the right or everything centered. My website, everything is shifted off center. And so it doesn't matter how wide the website goes or the screen goes, the website will accommodate the full width of the screen, yet the content will spread way too far apart. So that's, uh, that's the reason I use a group of elements so often is because almost everything in the body content of my websites is within their own groups inside the page. So that's um, that's actually all three of the containers here. And that would conclude this tutorial. In the next one, we're going to go over all the media. That's all the media uh, elements that you use. And until then, happy building.